Hey everyone, welcome back with another beta breakdown. Apple just released macOS Tahoe 26.2 Beta 2, Bill 25, C5037J, and this one's packed with new goodies. The star? A slick ring light feature for video calls. Plus, there's a ton of polish across apps. The download size on my M4 Mac Studio was 3.33 gigabytes. Let's jump right in. Open any camera app, like Photo Booth, FaceTime, or Zoom, and you'll see a new toggle called Edge Light. It transforms your entire Mac display into a soft, glowing ring light. Move your face, and the glow tracks you in real time, fading under your cursor for a seamless experience. You can tweak the intensity, adjust the thickness, and choose between warm or cool color tones. On 2024 and newer Macs, it even activates automatically in dim rooms. Video calls in low light just got a huge upgrade. No need for that pricey ring light anymore. Launch the Apple Games app and you're greeted with a fresh splash screen. It highlights filtering your library, navigating with a controller, and tracking challenger scores. Tap continue, head to the library tab, and you'll spot a new sort button. You can now sort games by name, recently played, or those installed on your Mac. The iOS size filter is still missing, but Apple says it's coming soon due to different macOS APIs. Open the Reminders app, and a sleek new card welcomes you. It says, add an alarm and get notified on your iPhone or iPad. macOS still doesn't support alarm kit, so urgent reminders ping your other Apple devices. Also, the empty list suggestions got a modern redesign. The Create Groceries List button now looks sharper and more inviting. In the Podcasts app, open any episode with auto-generated chapters and check the three-dot menu. The label has changed from automatically created to automatically generated by AI, complete with a sparkles glyph. Apple's leaning into the AI vibe, and I'm here for this transparent glow-up. Launch Freeform, and you'll see a new card introducing tables in Freeform. It matches the modern, clean style of the reminder splash screen making those old what's new pop-ups feel like ancient history. The macOS context menus and sheets are now more fluid and transparent. The background blur is lighter, letting you see what's behind. Buttons feel slightly larger, or maybe I'm just loving this beta's vibe. The entire interface is smoother and more polished than ever. The next beta should drop around Monday or Tuesday, November 17th or 18th. The final 26.2 release is expected in mid-December. I'm still hoping for the Apps app redesign maybe in macOS 27, classic ringtones in 26.3 or 26.4, and a launchpad replacement. That's everything new in macOS Tahoe 26.2 Beta 2. Edge Light alone makes this beta a game changer for video calls. If you're excited, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for every beta update. In the comments, tell me, are you cranking Edge Light to max brightness or keeping it subtle? All my apps and wallpapers are linked below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.